Lesson 1.8, Estimate Differences. Use rounding or compatible numbers to estimate the difference. So let's go over the directions. We know we're going to be rounding. And when we round, we round to the nearest tens or hundreds. And estimate, whenever we see the word estimate, we know we're finding something close to the answer. So we're just looking for something close to the answer. We're not looking for the exact answer. And the word difference, we circle this word difference. The word difference means to subtract. So we know we're going to be subtracting whenever we see the word difference. So number one has been done for us, 40 minus 13. So 40 is already a 10, so they kept it out as, as a 10. Number 13, 13 gets rounded to 10 because it's between 10 and 20, but it is closer to number 10. So 13 is rounded to 10. Now 40 minus 10, our estimate is 30. They didn't ask us to solve the actual problem. We're only looking for an estimate. Number two, 762 minus 332. Let's round. 762 to the nearest tens. 762 is between 760 and 770, but it is closer to 760. Number 332 is between 330 and 340, but it is closer to 330. Now, once we subtract, we start with the ones place. Zero minus zero is zero, six minus three is three, and seven minus three is four. So our estimate is 430. They did not ask us to find the actual answer, so we don't have to solve it, just find the estimate. Number three, 823 minus 242. 823 is between 820 and 830, but it is closer to 820. So we'll put 820 over here. Number 242 is between 240 and 250, but it is closer to 240. Now, 0 minus 0, we start with a 1's place. 0 minus 0 is 0. Uh, 2 minus 4, we can't subtract 4 from 2, so we have to borrow from the neighbor. So we borrow from this 8. The 8 now becomes a 7. Now this 2 can become a 12. So now it's 12 minus 4. We can do 12 minus 4. 12 minus 4 equals 8. Now we move over to the hundreds place. It's no longer 8 minus 2, but it is 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. Number 4. 98 minus 49. 98 is between 90 and 100, but it is closer to 100. Now, 49 is between, when we round to the nearest tens, is between 40 and 50. But it's closest to 50. So we start subtracting. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 5, we can't do that. So let's borrow from the neighbor. So we borrow from this, the hundreds place. This becomes a 0. And this 0 becomes a 10. Now 10 minus 5 equals 5. Now this was 1 before, but now it's a 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. So we just leave that at 50. Number 5, 287 minus 162. So 287, if we round to the nearest hundred, 287 would round to 300. 
because it's between 200 and 300, but it is closer to 300. 162 is between 100 and 200, but it is closer to 200. We subtract, starting with the ones. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. And three minus two is one. Our estimate is 100. Number six, 359 minus 224. 359 is between 350 and 400, but it is closer to 400. Number 224 is between 220 and 230, but it is closer to 220. Now we subtract, zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus two, we can't do that. So the tens have to borrow from the hundreds place. We borrow one from the four, the four becomes a three. Now this zero becomes a 10 because we put the one in front of it. Now 10 minus two equals eight. Now this side is no longer four minus two because the four became a three. Now it is three minus two. Three minus two equals one. Number seven, 771 minus 531. Let's round 771. Let's round to the nearest tens. 771 to the nearest tens is 770. And 531 to the nearest 10 is 530. Now, if we subtract these numbers, we don't subtract one horizontally, so let's put it vertically. So that'll be 770 minus 530. Zero minus zero is zero. Seven minus three is four. Seven minus five is two. So our estimate is 240. Number eight, 299 minus 61, 299, when we round it to nearest, let's round to the nearest tens because we have a tens over here. So. 299, when we round to the nearest tens, it's between 290 and 300, but it is closer to 300. 61 is between 60 and 70, but it is closer to 60. Now we don't add horizontally, so let's put it vertically. So 300 minus 60. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus six, we can't do that. So this zero has to borrow one from the three. We take one away from the three, it becomes a two. And we the one that we took away, we put it in front of the 10. We put it in front of the zero. And now it becomes a 10. Now we can do 10 minus six. 10 minus six equals four. Now we move to the hundreds place. It was a three, but it's no longer a three since we took one away from the three to make this zero a 10. So it's a two now. Now two minus zero is two. Number nine, Ben has a collection of 812 stamps, he gives his brother 345 stamps. About how many stamps does Ben have left? 
So let's find our keywords and important numbers. So we have 812 stamps. And he gave his brother, Ben had 812 stamps. He gave his brother 345. So we, he gave his brother some of the stamps. So he's going to have less. Now, the question says about how many stamps does Ben have left? Now, the word about is an estimate. And we know it means close to. So we're not looking for the answer, but we're looking for something close to the answer. So we're going to be rounding. So let's round to the nearest hundreds. So we have 812 and we have 345. We're going to round those two numbers to the nearest hundreds. So since we know his brother is giving away, when someone gives something, someone something, they have less of it. So whenever we have less, less of something, we subtract. So whenever we have something left, it's subtraction. So that's a keyword that tells us to subtract. Left. So let's find out how many he had left. So we're going to start subtracting. 812 rounded to nearest 100 is 800 because it's between 800 and 900 and 812 is closer to 800. Now 345 to the nearest 100 is between 300 and 400, but it is closer to 300. Now we know we're subtracting, so we start with the ones place, so 0 minus 0 equals 0, 0 minus 0 in the tens place equals 0, and in the hundreds place, 8 minus 3 equals 5. So Ben has about 500. Number 10. Savannah's Bakery sold 284 loaves of bread in September. In October, the bakery sold 89 loaves. About how many more loaves of bread did Savannah's Bakery sell in September than in October? So let's find the important numbers and keywords that's going to help us solve this problem. So Savannah's Bakery sold 284 loaves. That was September. And in October, the bakery sold 89 loaves about how many more so we underline our question about how many more loaves of bread did savannah's bakery sell in september than in october so we underline our question because it tells us what to do now let's look for another keyword that can tell us what we're going to be doing another keyword the words how many more Whenever we see the word how many more, we know that we are going to be subtracting. So I put a, a minus sign next to the word how many more. Whenever we see the word how many more, the words how many more, it means to subtract. So let's begin subtracting. So we know when we subtract, we always start with a bigger number. So the bigger number is 284. And the smaller number is 89. And we remember it said about, which tells us to estimate, which is close to. So we're not looking for the actual answer. We're looking for a number close to the answer. So 284 and 289, if we round these numbers to the nearest 100, 284 would be between 200 and 300. But it is closer to 300. And 89 is between 0 and 100, but it is a lot closer to 100. So let's subtract. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 3 minus 1 is 2. So about 
200. So here's our answer, about 200. Number 11, explain how to estimate 586 minus 321 in two different ways. So we're gonna do it in two different ways. So one is we can round to the nearest 100 and the other we can round to the nearest tens. So 586, so let's round 586 to the nearest hundreds. Let's do the hundreds first. 586 to the nearest hundreds would be between 500 and 600 but it is a lot closer than it is a lot closer to 600 so it becomes 600 now 321 since we're rounding between hundreds is between 300 and 400 but it is a lot closer to 300 so 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 in the tens place is 0 6 minus 3 is 3. So this was rounding to the nearest hundreds. So I'm going to write hundreds here. Now we're going to round. Another way we can round it is to the nearest tens. So 586, if we're rounding to nearest tens, would be between 580 and 590. But it is closer to 590. 321 is between 320 and 330. But it is a lot closer. It is a lot closer to 320. Zero minus zero is zero. Nine minus two is seven. Five minus three is two. This is rounding to the nearest tens, and this is rounding to the nearest hundreds. So that's two different ways. And they asked us to estimate. So we did not have to find the exact answer, but something close to it. Number one. George has 708 baseball cards and 394 basketball cards. About how many more baseball cards than basketball cards does George have? So let's start circling our important numbers and keywords. So we know it 708 is important number. That was the baseball cards and 394 basketball cards. And we know about means to find to, is an estimate. So we have to find something close to the answer. So we know we're going to be rounding. So let's finish underlining the question because it tells us what to do about how many more basketball cards, about how many more baseball cards than basketball cards does George have? So about how many more, that's another key word. And that how many more tells us to subtract. Whenever we see the word how many more, we know it means to subtract, so I put a, a minus sign, a subtraction sign, next to the word how many more. So it was 708 and 394, and we know we're subtracting because it said how many more, and we know we're going to round because it said about. We know the word about means to find something close to the answer. So 708 and 394, we're going to round these to the nearest hundreds. So 708 would be between 700 and 800, but it is a lot closer to 700. 394 is between 
300 and 400, but it is a lot closer to 400. Now, when we subtract, 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 7 minus 4 is 3. So about about 300. Number two, Danica is making necklaces. She has 512 silver, silver beads and 278 blue beads. About how many more silver than blue beads does Danica have? So let's look for our keywords. It was 512 silver beads, 278 blue beads. We unline our question because it tells us what we need to do. Now about, we circle about because we know it means close to. So this is going to be an estimate. They are not looking for the exact answer. So we're going to have to round. And how many more? And how many more means to subtract. So I put a subtraction sign next to it. So we know we're going to be rounding, then subtracting. So let's begin. So 512, if we round to the nearest hundreds, 512 is between 500 and 600 but it is closer to 500. Now, 278 blue beads, 278 is between 200 and 300, but it is closer to 300. Now, if we subtract for our estimate, zero minus zero is zero. A zero minus zero is zero. 5 minus 3 is 2. So 200. So our answer is about, because we're getting an estimate, about 200. Number three, a store manager ordered 402 baseball caps and 122 ski caps. Estimate the total number of caps the manager ordered. So we're going to look for important numbers and keywords. 402 baseball caps, 122 ski caps. And we know estimate means we're going to round because we're getting something close to the answer. So let's estimate the total number. So whenever we see total, total means to add. So I'm going to put a plus, uh, a plus sign right here because total means to add. So whenever we see the word total, we know we're adding. So we're going to add, we're going to round first, then add. So it's going to be 400 and 402. When we round to the nearest 100, it becomes 400. And 122, when we round to the nearest 100, is between 100 and 200, but it is closer to 100. Now, 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0. 0, 4 minus 1. So about 300. Number 4. Autumn collected 129 seashells at the beach. What is 129 rounded to the nearest 10? So let's find our important numbers and keywords. 129 seashells, and we have to round, we have to find out what is 129 rounded to the nearest 10. So let's round it to the nearest 10. Now 129, 
the tens it's in between is 120 and 130. Which one is it closer to? 129 is closer to 130. So 129 rounds to 130 when we round to the nearest 10. Number five, find the sum. 585 plus 346, and we know the sum is the answer to an addition problem. So I put my plus sign. We start with the ones place, always in the back at the ones place. Five plus six is 11. We carry our one. One plus eight is nine. Nine plus four is 13. We carry our one. Now we're on to the hundreds place. One plus five is six. Six plus three is nine. So 931. Number six. Julie made $22, $55, $38 and $25 babysitting. How much did she make babysitting? So the important numbers we're going to need 22, 55, 38, and 25. We earn on our question how much did she make babysitting? The keywords how much, whenever we see the word how much, we know we're going to be adding. So let's start adding these numbers. Let's add them in the easiest possible way to add. So we have 22. Let's add 22, then 38. 22, 38. Then let's add 55. and 25. I added in this order because we can easily add 2 plus 8. 2 plus 8 is 10. So we know 2 plus 8 is 10. And we know 5 plus 5 also equals 10. So 10 plus 10 equals 20. So we're going to put our zero in the ones place and carry the two. Now, two plus two is four. Four plus three is seven. Seven plus five is 12. 12 plus two is 14. So how much money did Julie made? $140.